quite different from the uh, usual cars that I get in the shop here, but uh, one of my neighbors here in the, uh, you know, where my shop is located, came by initially for, um, you know, a, a basic polish kind of detail because the car was going to be traded in, and, you know, just to make it look better, give it a one step, uh, clean it up. It had been, you know, semi, you know, w w taken care of okay. But it wasn't, a, you know, an immaculate car. This obviously was a, it's a daily driver. It had been sitting in the sun, I'm assuming, quite a bit. He brought it in actually with a lot of, he must have hauled some dirt or, you know, something having to do with some kind of gardening work. And that's not normally what I do. I don't do cleanup type details. Um, but, you know, since he wanted to sell it, I said, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and do it. A few days later, he called me and asked how much would it be for a ceramic coating because he decided to keep the car. So that's what we did. Did a paint correction, ceramic coating, and putting uh, PPF on the headlights because, you know, the fading had already started. So the headlights were polished, even though there's still there's some staining on the inside um, that cannot be taken out of, uh, you, know, out, you know, out of the material. And then the interior, I believe he's replacing the seats because as you can tell, I show you this. This is completely dried up. And listen to that. I don't know what happened here, but the leather is rock hard. So the car was a complete mess on the inside. But it was cleaned up. The seats will be replaced. It's now ceramic coated. And the point I wanted to bring out, especially you know, since this car was brought in and, and got ceramic coated. Here's a client that initially wanted a simple detail, then had no problems once I told him what ceramic coating would cost, told me to go ahead, told me to do the headlights, never even asked what is that going to cost me. And compared to what I'm, I'm not going to say what I'm usually dealing with because most of my clients are very, um, you know, people that, that are ready and willing to spend money for good quality work. But those that often do not become clients that come in here with six-figure cars or call, never even make it into the shop and ask for a ballpark, even though I always say I need to see the vehicle. And the response is, well, you know, I got a quote for lower somewhere. And yeah, you'll get a quote. I don't, I can send you to 10 other places, 20 other places that'll tell you they'll be, you know, half of my price but what kind of quality are you gonna get? And these are people that, are, that are, have just purchased a two, three, four hundred dollar car, a thousand dollar car. And here's a gentleman with an older 2018 Mazda 3 and was more than willing to spend the money to have his car brought back and so he, you know, so he can enjoy it for the next few years. And look at how good this thing looks. So it's not a matter of what you drive Regardless of what you own, it's a matter of the kind of quality you're looking for. And if you're looking for the kind of quality that I deliver, then you'll probably become a client. Those even with high six-figure cars that are only looking to get the work done the cheapest are probably never going to end up coming this way.